Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is April from Custom by Design 864 and today's tutorial will be on a honeybee tumbler. This is our very first vlog slash tutorial, so please give us your thoughts down in the comments and I will link in the description all the products that I'm using today in case you'd like to purchase any of those. With that being said, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new content. Um, so let's roll on into that video and get this tumbler made. I start out by prepping my tumbler. When I prep my tumbler, I'm getting off any oils and debris that may be on the tumbler from the factory. I'm also giving my paint and epoxy something to grip. I get better adhesion when I prep my tumbler. I use a 320 grit sheet of sandpaper and scuff the tumbler real good. Once it's scuffed really well, I take it over to the sink and wash it with some dish soap and dry it completely. Once my tumbler is completely dry, I take it outside and apply my base coat of paint. I use quick burst to get even coverage. I also use matte paint when I can find it in the color I need because matte paint dries quicker. Once my paint is dry, I can move on to my next step. When you choose a base coat that is close to your glitter color, it allows you to use less glitter and still get good coverage. This particular tumbler is going to be a peekaboo, so the majority of my glitter will be painted over. I use a Lumilite clear cast for my epoxy. It mixes with a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's fairly simple to use. Just mix equal amounts of part A and part B. Stir for about three minutes or until it's clear. Then you're ready to apply it to your tumbler. When you use the epoxy method to add your glitter, only use enough epoxy to get your tumbler sticky. You don't want to use too much because using too much will make your glitter look splotchy and you'll have to use more glitter to cover those spots. Also, when using the epoxy method, you want your epoxy to be smooth with no lines. So if you have lines like I did, just put it on your turner and let it spin for a few minutes until it evens out. Once it evens out, you're ready to apply your glitter. Now that my lines have smoothed out and my epoxy is even, I'm adding a light coat of glitter. This is Glitter Chimps Honeycomb. It's a holographic chunky mix from their Mixology collection. It works out great for this tumbler. Too bad it's getting covered up. Now let's shake some glitter. Now that our glitter's been applied, let's let it spin for three or four hours and then we'll go in with our flood coat. All right, we got our rim cleaned up and it looks really good with our little line of silver up there. Um, it's ready for its decals. I found this design on on Google. I just Googled honeycomb and this is what it pulled up. Um, this is a 17 ounce stemless wine glass from the Stainless Depot. I think the smaller honeycomb looks better on these just because it's not a huge cup. But I just take a little bit at a time, get my transfer sheet. You just grab a little bit here and there like that. And then you just stick it on your cup, just random places, wherever you, wherever you feel like it should go. So I'm just going to start at the bottom. And I like it when mine rolls over a little bit on the bottom. So I'll just stick it here and let it pull it and roll it like that. So like that. But I'll just go through and place them in different areas. Once I get them everywhere I want them, I'll take it outside and throw some uh, yellow spray paint on it. And then we'll come back in here and alcohol ink it to make it look more like a, a beehive.
sometimes you just have to smile to keep from crying. Um, my camera decided it wanted to cut off midway through a tutorial. So I missed two whole steps in this cup. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what y'all missed, what the camera didn't catch. I took um, honeycomb and caramel alcohol ink from Tim Holtz and I took my little uh, blending sponge, it's a makeup sponge, and I went all over the cup and blended it all in together to make it look like honey. And I took all of my little stickers off, all my decals off to make the, so you can see the glitter because it's a peekaboo. Um, so now that all that got done and didn't get recorded, <laughs> I'm going to take it out and put some, uh, seal it up real good and put some clear on it and get it spinning. All right, now that we've got our cup uh, cleared and ready to be put under epoxy, um, I mixed seven and a half mils of at part A and part B and st stirred it up real good. And I've still got a few little bubbles, so I've had it sitting in front of my heater. You can probably hear it to warm it up some to make all the bubbles go away. But I'm going to add a little bit of some loose glitter into my epoxy to kind of give it a shimmer over the top of the um, the alcohol inks. Not really sure how that's going to turn out, but I guess we'll see. everything is cut I used my pen pen and weeded my decals. I then used my transfer tape to layer my design and apply to my tumbler. <laughs> 